Here we go again. States 18 for Mugio to Pinarolo. Pinarolo, one of the most famous places in, in the Giulia Italia. Not the most exciting of states in the first 200 kilometers, but we end up with two couples climbs, very small, steep climbs, I, I would imagine, and a long category two. Long, not that long, but short and steep category two climb here. Let's get into the states and hopefully Portugal and Peru can stay up front here. Okay, so we're now nearing the first of the couple climbs and these are some really steep climbs we have today here. I think this is not a kind of state that's really suited for Portugal and Peru. Uh, on the other hand, Peru is actually ninth for a while, I didn't even notice this, but I think yesterday Chavez must have lost 10 minutes or so. I don't know how it happened, but he's now 10 minutes, 8 minutes behind Peru. So yeah, at least Peru is better in the classification right now, which is, uh, yeah, definitely a plus. But now let's zoom in here. This is a very steep cover climb just before Pinole here. Only two stars difficulty cobblestones. It's not the, the diff most difficult cobblestones, but you can still see the people will probably be struggling with this here. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm just assuring that I was sitting as far front as possible here because I did not want to get uh, yeah, caught behind some weaker riders. I couldn't make it up here. And I think Puerto Rico seems to be fine. There's a bit of a gap here up to Peru actually, which I don't like. But I think Sky, Landa is not here, so I think Sky will close the gap here before we've now entered the Pinarolo here. So I'm putting Puerto Rico, uh, Peru and Puerto Rico here. And Pinarolo is a very steep climb. I think this is Pinarolo, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Pamatino, okay, it wasn't been all. But let's see what we can make happen here. I think that's an immediate attack from Micah. And um, let's just also these riders here. Go to everyone is also apart from Peru and Portugal here. And yeah, that's Micah and I think it was Dumoulin. And who's the last it was rider, rider Hesidal. I do not want to let Micah get away here. Just one, Valverde now goes. That means Nibali will have to react as well. Any other riders here who are stuck behind? I don't, I don't see Landa anywhere. Mikel Landas, Landa and Kozvik are stuck behind right now. Landa is, is by far in the worst position at the moment. Valverde and Nibali bridging up. Juan seems tired as well here. Pro is about to be done as well now. I don't think he'll can help me for much longer here. Yeah, Peru is done. I'll go up here. Mike is going really fast here. He's actually getting away from Nibali and Valverde right now. Which is a bit surprising to me at least. Juan is still hanging on here with Valverde and Nibali, which leads me to think Valverde is not going full speed right now. Okay, he might be now because I'm going 90. I'm not even keeping up with Uran and Valverde and Nibali here, so I think they're going really fast. I really want to get on the wheel of these two riders here. They have about a minute up. It's really weird to me that they let Mike and Dalar riders away here. But Landa is tired today. He's sitting here behind two teammates. Really poor day for Landa who's lose a lot of time, probably loses fifth place overall as well if that wouldn't surprise me if he did at least. So he was poor downhill down Hill skills is really coming to show here. Where Valverde and Nibali are straight down in hill skills is also coming in to notice here as they get away from Uran and put Vivo on the downhill. This is bad news for me. And it doesn't seem like Uran is really working here. Peru is sitting with Kreuzweg and Sagain. Ro Nicholas Rose and Landa is getting back up again, I think. Juan is not working here, is he? I don't think Juan is working at all for, to, to help me here. So yeah, the gap is just... Okay, Nibel has actually dropped Valverde and is now closing the gap up to Micah here. Nibel is of course also a great rider on the cobbles. So now we'll zoom in again here as we go up this for the second time. About three kilometers to the finish line for us. The front riders have already reached the top and are on the downhill. Valverde is the only one who hasn't. 
So I'm going to lose a lot of time to Micah today. I don't get why you're so good here. Micah and the other riders here on this on this last climb. I went really fast up. Maybe I just started in a poor position compared to them. I think that that will probably end up being it. I hope I can drop one here because he deserves it after not helping me. Only a minute up to up to a ride isn't too bad, but I'll lose like three minutes or so to uh, two and a half minutes. I actually think I probably lost my podium spot here. Uh, I have two and a half minutes to Micah, who ended up getting second place. This was not a great This was Paul man to stay in top 10. Uh, Chavez has completely disappeared in the last day this year. So has Michelangelo, who hasn't been yeah, great at all this duty Italia. Okay, so Hesedal wins this stage ahead of Mike and Dumlang. Nibali gained some time on Rolade. If he's good enough, he might be able to do it on the last couple of stages. Nibali make a comeback, but he's six minutes behind. It'll be very difficult. I lost a lot of time today uh, because I don't know why. I was probably just poorly placed at this point when they attacked. And yeah, they just did away to the free riders. Puts me down to fourth place now, nine seconds after Alpha and Mike. We can just check it here. Um, Peru stays in ninth place. I don't really know. Chavez lost 20 minutes today. What's going on with him? I don't know if he's sick or injured or something like that. But he's completely dropping out of the top 10 at this point. Uh, Landa got overtaken by yeah, five minutes lost today. Close to getting overtaken by a rider his as well. Dropped out of the top five. One not too far behind either. Should be a pretty interesting final couple of stages. The next two in particular are really tough. Tomorrow's stage is going to see it's a short one, but it's the only 8C climb. I think that means it's the tallest point in the entire Tour d'Italia. And I can't remember what it's called. And the final climb is really tough as well. So let's get into tomorrow's stage. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.